time and time. Um, he did three songs, and then he was like, you know, he's such a character. He's like, oh, my voice is fucking awful tonight, isn't it? He's just being a right character on stage. Then he finished the three songs, and we weren't sure if he was going to do any signing. So I asked, and they said, well, we're not sure. We're not sure if he's going to do signing. Anyways, he came out, and he was just like quickly signing CDs. And it's, it's not, it wasn't even an environment where, you know, when, when someone is doing a signing, like when Jerry Hallowell did it, or, or other people, like, you know, you get to be on the side of them, so they've got the book of the CD there. And you can get a free stand next time. It wasn't like that. Cindy, yeah, Cindy. Him, so it's like, it was like, a, it was like, you know, he was like behind the counter and he was like really doing, he wasn't signing everybody's. He just had to kind of like quickly get in there. Well, you know, Cindy, I was like, David, I have not even heard until I speak to boy George. I said, and he said, what are you going to tell him? I said, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, I went up to him and I went, because I know I had limited. I said, Ever since I've known you, I've loved you. And he, he, he looked at me and he, start, he started to laugh. And I said, listen, you were the first man ever on my bedroom wall, okay? That's all I have to say. And I said, and I, and I touched him and I said, are you following me on Twitter? I'm DJ Figgy. And he said, oh, I know you. Listen, listen to me. Oh, my God, Dan, I'm, your days are limited. This is my new best friend. I said, he said, he said, oh, I know you. And then everybody was like, oh, my God, who's this bitch? And I 